let's talk through this a little bit. Your first little lick or riff is going to be. All right, and you're going to throw that D chord in there with it. We've only got two notes of the D chord, right? All right, that's our first lick. And then we're going to go. So that's a, a G sharp, A, B, E, G sharp, A, B, E, G sharp again, and then we're going to go to that A chord, A shaped chord, it's not really an A chord, right? So we've got F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A. Then we go to that G shaped chord, which is really an A. That's E, E, uh, D sharp, C sharp, back to that A chord. First half of the verse. Same thing again. Same thing. This is the second half of the verse. When we get to our G chord. We're not going to stay on it as long. We're going to go to. Okay, so that's C sharp, D sharp, E. A shaped chord so it kind of stays on this G uh, shaped chord for half as long this time and then we're gonna go D sharp D sharp E F sharp D shaped chord we're back home all right so now we're going to the C shaped chord but we're gonna walk up to it got our a little riff with our D chord going into the chorus now that's that C in the chorus or C shaped chord right it's a D actually now we're gonna do a little trick what all right what am I doing here I've got my third finger on the fifth fret of the third string. And I've got my second finger on the fourth fret of the second string. So, fifth fret of the third string is a C. Fourth fret, excuse me. Fifth fret of the third string is a C. Fourth fret of the second string is a D sharp. I'm sliding those two notes so I downstroke on my slide let's see that's where you can see it and then I upstroke to catch that E on the fifth fret of the second string and then I'm gonna hammer on So I'm hammering on from the 4th fret to the 6th fret on the 3rd string. I'm going to come all the way down here and grab this nice open E because my capo is set up where I can do that. We've got this riff again. So we've got F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A, walking right back down.
back to that A shape chord. Remember this from the verse? And then we've got just like at the end of our end of the verse. So that whole chorus again is to the C shaped chord. Now we're gonna do our trick. trick just goes into that that D and uh, that E in the bass with our D shaped chord and then and there you have Magnolia Wind with intermediate chords